Surgery is still the most effective treatment for most gynecologic conditions, but the trauma, pain, and long recovery process can cause significant anxiety for many women. Fortunately, for complex hysterectomies and other procedures, robotic surgery is a much better option. Dr. Steve Brisbow, an OBGYN for 30 years and the medical director for Women's Services at Providence Sacred Heart, has been a proponent of minimally invasive treatment his entire career. So when robotic surgery became available, he immediately embraced the chance to use it on his patients for procedures like removing fibroids to complete hysterectomies. very common scenario is a patient who comes to me and not uncommonly finds our website or the intuitive surgical website and comes and, and they've seen other physicians who've told them you have to have your uterus out, you have to have a major incision. Mm -hmm. And when they find out there are other choices, that they can save their uterus if they want and they can uh, have little tiny incisions, be back to work in a week, go home the same day or the next morning, needless to say, they're pretty happy. Sharon Davis heard about Dr. Brisbow from another physician who had told her her options for excessive bleeding were limited. Feeling imprisoned by a condition that made it increasingly difficult to leave home or hold down a job, Davis left her doctor's office devastated. I felt so bad, I felt hopeless. But during our conversation, he had told me that there was another doctor in Spokane, the only one he, other one he knew of, that did vaginal hysterectomies. Following through on that second opinion paid off for Davis in a life-changing way. Because of her size, a traditional hysterectomy was risky, but Dr. Brisbow was able to perform the procedure using robotic surgery and with excellent results. And I went home the next day and I never had any complications from it. It was such a wonderful thing. And this is not an easy thing for me to talk about, but it's embarrassing and humiliating and personal, but I feel I have to give back. And I know there's women out there who are suffering the way I suffered, and I need for them to know that there's hope for them. There's a procedure that can help them. And so that's why I'm doing this. Surgery is, is controlled trauma. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's traumatic to the, to the body. Mm -hmm. It's controlled, but it's still traumatic. And the amount of trauma to the body is, depends upon what type, of, what type of disease they have, but it also depends on how the surgery is done. So there's a huge difference in terms of the amount of trauma to the body in somebody who has a big incision versus somebody who has four little tiny half-inch incisions. In less risk, less bleeding, less infection, faster recovery. Most of the patients are go home the same day or the next morning and are back to work within a week. I am so blessed. I am so blessed and I'm so thankful for this technology and Dr. Brisbo's tenacity and his desire to help were, you know, there's nobody else that I know of who's gone this far and gone the extra mile to try and help somebody. I just love that man. He's a great man and a great person and a great doctor. It's a challenge, but, it, but you know, I, you're supposed to enjoy what you do and I enjoy what I do. And never stop learning. I never stop learning, absolutely.